So we're back with the STM32 MP1 35 and I will be showing you an example of a standalone bare metal program uh, that deals with the independent watchdog number two, resetting the board every 32 seconds. Uh, the program also implements some basic uh, GPIO functionalities like as you see I'm blinking uh, the LED tree and also uh, reading the state of the button below so as we press it it blinks a little bit faster and the most important the uh, UR data is coming without any resets from the watchdog so let's take a look what the U-Bot tells us about itself so as we see the watchdog uh, is uh, on with the 32 seconds timeout and this is the address for the watchdog number two uh, in the previous video it wasn't even configured but it started anyways so right here we make sure it is uh, enabled and uh, to do this configuration let's take a look at the uh, menu config of the u-bot okay so we are in the menu config of the u-bot and uh, the difference between this configuration and the previous one is that in the device drivers at the bottom we got the watchdog we enable it uh, start it uh, just by default and uh, enable the driver model for the STM32 so uh, doing this configuration build in the U-Bot and then the uh, FIP image uh, next on we can go to the project so this is the main function of it uh, the project is the based on the David Walsh uh, examples of the Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, so, linker script, for example, looks very simple. We got the start address of the RAM, the size of the program, simple. And in the vectors, we've got the start address of the program and some functions to read and uh, write to the registers and also a do nothing function. It's exported right here in the main function, I mean a main file. And there are also uh, functions, for example, the delay, the GPIO, and it's basic uh, writing and reading from the registers. So now for the uh, watchdog, right here I got a function to uh, reload it. So if you uh, search uh, deeply into the um, configuration of the device, you will find that it's a uh, window watchdog. So uh, you have to first uh, enable the watchdog registers uh, write access to it and next on you can uh, write to the window register to reload it and next on optional you can write zero to the key register to make it uh, locked again so in the main function we got uh, the configuration for the blue led and it's defined the GPIO A and it's the 14 pin and it's a output the next pin is the button B2 and it's also GPIO A and it's uh, 13 so uh, right here I disable the pull up for it some variables for the timing in the application and right here I uh, make a sprint uh, by using uh, this function and it's declared right here 
So the number of the loop is being uh, converted into a string and it's being printed to the uh, UART register defined uh, right here. And uh, also the LED blinking. And after the main loop is uh, done 3,000 3, times, uh, we re reload the window watchdog in order not to reload it uh, too fast because uh, you may get a reset. If you have uh, uh, the value of the reload uh, not low enough. So making, making it reload after some time uh, is the right choice here. Okay, so now let's uh, go ahead and uh, build this example. Maybe make sure it's built it running. Let's change a simple letter right here. And let's uh, first of all close the UBOT configuration. Okay. And I got the folder right here. So let's go ahead and go to this folder. Invoke Linux and uh, make clean and work. Okay. So uh, we got the main uh, dot bin generated. So let's uh, put it onto the SD card. And just as before, we got uh, a quite a lot of uh, windows opening up because of the uh, GPT partitions. Just have to close them. Okay. And uh, right here we got the uh, all the application. So now we can just copy the one we just built. It. So main.bin and let's replace it. Okay. Let's go back here. And now let's replace the program. Let's plug in the SD card and click reset. And as you see, it's changed. So I uh, hope you find it useful in your projects and see you in the next one.